Hi you guys. So I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe um, do a video based on like my my uh, process in creating these little clusters of um, you know layered uh, ephemera and uh, just random paper and postage stamps and lace and fabric and paper flowers and all these things um, that I use in my journals as like um, tuck spots or to embellish envelopes and tags and um, the covers of books sometimes things like that so I'll show you what I'm talking about and they're just kind of fun to make and have well let me show you this first to kind of have on hand to use for different purposes so because I don't know about you guys, but my workspace is not, well, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's actually my living room and my entire living room is basically my studio. Um, and yeah, we don't have a couch, so whatever. Anyway, I do what I want. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I, I, okay. So the reason I was saying that was because, um, I can't have everything that I could possibly need or want to use at any given time out at my fingertips, you know? So, um, and I find that I'm much more likely to use a lot of the things that I have if I do a little preparation ahead of time. And one of those things, and I just, you know, we all have a thing for, for paper and random um, bits of uh, ephemera and images and um, things like that. So, uh, and I'm no exception. So I'm constantly got my eye out for things that I can use in junk journals. So that's kind of the reason behind creating these little uh, clusters that I use ahead of time. I I like to just have them on hand, ready to go, ready to use, and ready to stick on wherever I want. And um, so anyway, I'll just show you a few of them. Um, so they're just, just these little um, you know, collections and, and layers of uh, fabric and lace and um, little pieces, basically scraps. Um, a lot of it are, are just scraps and my hands are covered with ink all the time. And I spend a lot of time at work, um, like fussy cutting things and, um, I print out things that I want to cut out a bunch of and take them to work and sit there for 10 hours cutting things out. So it, I do have a lot of, uh, time on my hands, but I am actually working when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll just show you some of the, some of the little, um, little examples. They're just little layers of, um, you know, bits and pieces of lace and, um, things like that, that are, that are all cut up and there's some buttons and buttons and paper flowers, etc. So you get the idea. So Here's a box of them that are basically ready to go, um, ready to attach onto other things. And, um, the base of them is usually some kind of, um, you know, like old book paper or something stiff. Usually, um, this is just a piece of watercolor paper that is coffee dyed a little, like a scrap. And, um, I use some of those rub ons. Um, on there and inked around the edge of it with ink and gold and pieces of canvas and stuff like that that are coffee dyed and um, anyway so you get the idea um, so there's those and those are basically what you know I can use for um, journals and tags and stuff like that and then um, I do um, a lot of like altered paper clips the same way so, and these obviously are, you know, just for using on a book in a journal, but, um, so I make a lot of these up ahead of time too, so that when I'm putting together a journal, um, I can just grab these and I really like having them available. So, 
and I get pretty loose with the way that I put stuff together and just just about every one of them is um, the whole thing is held together with with one staple one little tiny attacher staple so anyway so those that's what those are and then here's you know just a couple of things that I a uh, couple of ways that I use them these don't necessarily have any buttons or flowers on them because I wanted to be able to use these in books and I didn't want them to be too uh, three-dimensional so most of these are pretty flat um, like that so <clears throat> That is not the case with this one or this one. These are tags that I would use like on the cover of a book where I would um, put some uh, some eyelets or uh, brads in the corners or something like that. And they're very three-dimensional. Um, you know, like this, this butterfly is held up with some little bingo chips. <laughs> Anyway, and, you know, I can use up some of my thicker um, buttons and stuff like that, too. So, um, yeah, and I just go crazy. I just have so much stuff to use, and I just love it. So it seems like it's never ending. Um, I kind of told myself about five, six months ago, uh, I had some financial changes in my life, and um, I decided, okay, I'm not spending every penny I have on uh, craft supplies. I'm going to use what I have and um, make what I don't have if I can. So, um, and then I'll just show you kind of how I use these in a journal too. So, if I can find one. So here's one that's just, um, you know, hot glued onto a, a little... Uh, pocket and one of the little uh, paper clips so anyway you get the idea a paper clip there's another one on a, um, on a pocket and it's just you know those are like pre-made and I just attach them on to the onto the um, journal as I need them. So anyway, I like to kind of sit around at night sometimes and um, make up a bunch of those and then I don't have to make them for a long time. <clears throat> so basically, I'll kind of show you what I've got assembled to, to kind of get that going. Um, I just have these trays full of um, elements that um, that I need to use up. So, you know, this is just basically a um, bunch of book pages and still a bunch of pretty cool, like, um, steampunk sort of images out of this book that I used. I, I tore the book apart and so many cool images. Um, so anyway, um, just, you know, random, random pieces of paper and, um, doilies that tore in the process of coffee dyeing and stuff like that, some glassine, um, anything. This is a library, you know, card thing. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so yeah, so there's that. And um, I thought I wanted to use up some of these cards that I have um, that I don't seem to be using. So, I ripped up some bingo cards and um, some of these some of these cards out of this game that I'm not sure I'm not sure what the game was, but it it had some neat images on on there. Some bingo like floppy bingo sheets. I should stick those in there. And some Monopoly cards and playing cards and just stuff that, um, you know, I just need to use it. So, um, and these, I was thinking I would make a bunch of little clusters on these to use, just to staple onto a page to use as like a tuck spot. So that's kind of why I have these separated out. Um, and then I've got like a, 
these are basically just all little cutouts um, that I've either inked or um, I love Inca Gold. I'm telling you, like I would use Inca Gold on everything. Um, anyway, so these I will basically um, tear up and just use, you know, little little pieces of it in these in these little clusters. So. Um, and then this is where I happen to have a bunch of cut-out butterflies and stuff like that. So, see, this little guy, just, just, you know, glitter paper. And so there's that. And then uh, I decided I had a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of, what is that paper? Um, vellum, different, you know, printed vellum. So that I haven't been using because... I don't know, it's hard for me to think of stuff to do with it. So I thought, well, I'm going to just cut up a bunch of it and stick them in my clusters. And these are those little people, the Tim Holtz little little people. Be kind of fun. Um, and then, <laughs> so I have this giant thing full of, these are all just scraps of, um, lace and trims and um, some fabric, uh, doilies, things like that. And basically everything that's in here is ready to, you know, some of them I already, I cut down so that they're like usable pieces. So that when I'm doing this, I can just basically just grab, grab and attach, grab and go. So some rickrack, um, some little, I, that's ink on my hands. I got some, uh, I bought some re-inkers at the thrift store today. So I was testing them. They're chalk ink. Anyway, that's what's on my hand. <laughs> um, so that, and then of course, uh, postage stamps. Um, this is about, oh, one, a tenth of the postage stamps that I've acquired. Um, and then I've got this tray that is um, basically a lot of these little tags that I've made with rub-ons. Rub and uh, these are like bases in here. These would be considered like bases for, for the um, clusters. And then uh, inked around some of the edges and stuff like that. Did a little bit of prep on those. Um, some banners that, you know, I cut these out when I'm at work. I just sit there with, I love cutting paper. So some little labels, a um, bunch of um, scraps of um, some graphic 45 paper that can't throw away one bit of it. So I just, you know, make little banners on paper clips to, to use anyway. And then kind of pre-made some bases on paper clips with ribbon, things like that. Um, I have some punches that, um, I went the, the other night, I went through a whole bunch of my, um, scrapbook paper that I know I'm never going to use for, I don't scrapbook. So, you know, scrapbooking is like not even something I'm interested in doing, but I love paper. So, um, anyway, so cut out a whole bunch of little tags, um, with, with those punches and, um, I love those punches. And let's see what else is in here. Um, some paper that, um, you know, from some paper stacks and just little, little random things like that. Some photographs that I had scanned and printed off. Um, some advertisement. These are all from, um, what's it, Graphic, graphic Fairy? Um, all of these images printed these off. I have to, whatever I print has to be black and white. So I do a lot of like graphic stuff like that. Um, some tags that, um, I've either made or, you know, cut out on the scan and cut or pre-made, uh, from staples, coffee dyed. Some of these I, um, I stamped, um, Some little, it says love you, love you, and XO. So, 
Yeah, because I got nothing better to do, right? At all. Anyway, so you, you get the idea. That's kind of what this box is. It's like bases. Uh, oh, and this is a bunch of like scraps of um, uh, book paper that I decoupaged um, napkins onto. And these are just scraps from when I was making envelopes out of that paper. So I thought those would be great for bases for, for this project. And some of the just cut out, you know, die cut flowers. Things like that. And this is basically just more of the same, um, but these are more elements that would go into the clusters, like smaller smaller items. Um, I just got done cutting out all of these little teeny tiny little advertisements and uh, inking those up. They're so cute. I like these to be kind of interesting, you know, the layers. I like, I like to... Um, you know, so that they're actually interesting to look at and you can start, you can recognize certain things um, as you kind of get deeper into the layers. Anyway, so, um, so basically I just, um, you know, I'll pick a, a base um, and if I feel like it needs a little, a little ink, I'll go to town there. Um, I make these with a bottle cap from like a juice jug and then just a makeup applicator. And when it wears out, I just glue another one on there. And, um, so then I'll find just some kind of, uh, you know, piece of, piece of fabric or something that I want to layer on there. Maybe two, you know, basically whatever I grab is, is what, what gets in there. Um, and then I just, you know, sort of, um, work my way up and, uh, you know, um, just kind of lay them together. And while I'm doing this, I'm keeping in mind that I want this to be held together with one staple. So wherever my thumb is, is where I'm going to place that staple. Um, so this is one of those little miniature little playing cards so that way and um so scanned this is a postcard that i scanned and printed out so i'll leave that on there and so you know you don't have to see the whole card right you just you just want to see like a piece of it um just stamp um you know and, and it, just so you get the idea of what that is in that layer um so that, and then just kind of, kind of go from there. And you know, if it gets starts getting too thick, um, I might take something out that's real thick. Like that playing card is pretty thick, so I'm gonna take that out. Um, and I actually, um, well, let's see, one more little, one more little guy on there. Um, so that's it. Staple it, and then I'll do a bunch like that, and then. Um, you know, I can come back later and, well, I might as well do it now. I'll add like a paper flower and I don't have my hot glue gun plugged in, so, um, can't do that yet. But then, um, I've picked out buttons from the big button box that are, um, relatively flat, small buttons. So then I would just come back and maybe, I love the ones that still have the, um, the thread in them. So I try to make sure it stays in there, but, um, you know, and I would just put that in the center of the flower maybe and, and glue that into place. So, and then that one's done. So that's basically how I do that. Um, I'm gonna, I'll do a couple more. Um, I do want to, you know, get these, um, bingo cards and stuff kind of used up. Should plug in my hot glue gun. <clears throat> I don't know if this is... Let's see. Piece of lace on there. Or a doily, I should say.
sometimes it's hard to decide what to use. Um, so like an old, it's an image from a postcard. It's like an old cathedral or something. So I do try to use a postage stamp in just about every one of these because I need to use those postage stamps. Otherwise, what good are they? Anyway, so and I like these little um, these little cutouts, the airmail um, cutouts. So yeah, so and this thing's pretty decent. I mean, that's a lot that that's holding together. So um, anyway, yeah. So that's what I do. That's how I do those. I guess they're not that complicated, but um, I don't know. I just thought I'd share um, kind of part of my process in creating uh, junk journals. So I'm going to make some uh, clusters on these. And um, if anybody's interested in, um, you know, any more details about um, any of the processes that I use, on my junk journals, just let me know. Um, like the crackle finish on on some of the books, um, stuff like that. So anyway, I had not done any kind of process video at all, so I thought I would just kind of share that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.